Hey everyone, it's Corinne. Welcome to this recovery stretch. It's short and sweet, but super effective. This class works really well as a cool down, perhaps after a workout, or it can be done as a standalone stretch session to help you release tension from your body. No equipment is needed. We're going to get started on our mat. So make your way down onto the floor and lie yourself down on your back. Once you get there, hug your knees in towards your chest and perhaps start to rock your body from side to side. We're going into a spine twist. Lengthen your right leg away. Use your right hand to carry your left leg across your mat. Let's hold this for a few breaths before changing sides. Let's take this across to the opposite side. This should feel like a nice release for your mid and lower back, especially if you've just come out of a high intensity or strength workout. Lie on your back, knees bent and feet flat on the floor. Squeeze your glutes and roll your pelvis and spine off of the mat so that your hips start to open. Inhale at the top and then exhale, roll yourself back down. Let's repeat one more time. Once you come down, lengthen your left leg away, use your hands and guide your right leg in towards your chest. You can hold this still or perhaps you're circling your foot around to release your ankle, your calf muscles, Maybe you add a little bend and stretch of your leg. So there's no rules here. Just do what feels good for your body. When you are ready, change sides. And uh, if you need to pause the video just to hold a bit longer, no problem. Let's wrap this one up and roll up to a seated position. Once you're up, bend your right leg back and your left leg is bent in front. You can do this on your hands, perhaps your elbows, or maybe even lying flat on your back. That last option is pretty intense, so only do it if you feel comfortable. The minute you start to tense, we're kind of defeating the purpose of the stretch. Always go off of the feeling rather than the shape. Lastly, make sure you are taking deep breaths to encourage your body to relax. We are coming up and changing sides. So you might find one side is tighter than the other. And most people, including myself, uh, we have imbalances. So just use this opportunity to check in and see. You might need to spend a bit longer stretching out the tighter side. Even if you're not doing that today, it's also just good to bring that awareness into your body. So you're actually learning about what is going on. One of my favorite sayings is check yourself before you wreck yourself. I will leave you on that note. Finishing this one in three two and one let's come up into a lunge once you're up step your left leg forwards your right knee is down slice your right arm across your chest and then when you're ready start to rotate to the right to the left just sweeping your arm across your body between 
and as always taking that across to the opposite side adding in that shoulder stretch so left arm across your chest and then pull it in nice and tight using the opposite hand and then start to add in that twist and reach with the arm quite a few muscles targeted in this little combo including your hip flexors which I'm sure you have been feeling this whole time let's uh, come out of this stretch now sit however is comfortable and bring your left hand between your shoulder blades and press your elbow down with your right hand we are now on the right side this is a great stretch if you've been doing any like push exercises so push-ups chest press shoulder press or you might just be tight from life let's stretch out our groin so come into a deep squat you can use your elbows to push your knees back so you're going to feel this on the insides of your legs and you can hold it or you can move from side to side just again just do what feels good let's make our way up to standing interlace your fingers reach forward and flex your spine to maximize this stretch think about pushing and pulling you've got energy reaching forward and energy reaching back let's do the opposite opening up through the chest interlace your fingers behind your back and fold forward over your legs once you get to the bottom, release your arms, walk out into a pike and start to pad through your feet. So you're just pushing one heel at a time into the mat, stretching out your calf muscles, maybe adding a little hip rock side to side, perhaps reconnecting to your breath. So nice, deep, expansive breaths in and out on your next exhalation lower your pelvis towards the floor and extend your spine once you found your max stretch reverse lift your hips up walk your hands back to your feet and roll up to standing lower back middle back upper back shoulders back bring your left hand to your ear lean your head to the side and just feel that stretch in your neck taking it across to the opposite side so always just uh, hold lightly no need to pull with too much force letting that one go inhale lift your shoulders up to your ears and exhale release the shoulders down let's go again big breath in exhale release maybe adding some circles so just going up and round moving your head side to side and that marks the end of your recovery stretch thank you for moving with me today and prioritizing your recovery let's continue to eat well sleep well and i'll see you again on the mat soon